The truth is, most people don't even understand why these two compounds work, or how they're supposed to work together. So today, I'm going to break it down for you. Why the Wolverine stack fails for most people, and the one thing that makes it work insanely well when you do it right. Let's start with the truth. Most people pick sides. Team BPC157 says TB500 costs too much and doesn't work. Team TB500 says BPC157 is too weak for big injuries. And honestly, they're both missing the point. BPC157 fans have their reasons. It's famous for helping your gut and brain communicate, something most people completely overlook. It boosts angiogenesis, which is the fancy word for growing new blood vessels. That means better blood flow to injured areas. And when your tendons, ligaments, or even stomach lining get more oxygen and nutrients, they start rebuilding faster. Plus, BPC-157 is cheap. A month's supply can cost less than dinner for two. No wonder everyone loves it. Then you've got the TB-500 camp. These people are chasing full body healing. TB-500 doesn't just work locally. It floods your system, increases cell migration, and basically tells your body's repair crew to clock in everywhere at once. That's powerful. But it comes with a catch. The price. TB-500 can cost 10 times more than BPC-157, and if you don't use it right, that's 10 times the money gone for half the results. So most people do what seems logical. They pick one. BPC-157 for local injuries. TB-500 for general healing. Sounds reasonable, right? Wrong. Here's what changed my mind completely. A 38-year-old CrossFit athlete, let's call him Jake, tore his shoulder during a heavy snatch. Classic overuse injury. He tried BPC-157 alone for eight weeks. It helped a bit. Less pain, slightly better range of motion, but he still couldn't lift overhead. Then he switched. Used TB-500 for another eight weeks. Felt some energy, maybe a little less inflammation, but no real breakthrough. He was frustrated and ready to give up. Then his coach told him something that changed everything. Try both, but in the right order. So Jake started again. TB-500 first. Let it prep the body and get the healing environment ready. Two weeks later, he added BPC-157. Within six weeks, the same guy who couldn't lift a barbell was back doing pull-ups and handstands. Totally healed. And it's not just him. Pro rugby players use this method. UFC fighters who can't afford to sit out for months swear by the timing. Even everyday gym goers are getting results they never got before. The secret isn't just using both, it's using them in the right sequence. Here's why that matters. TB500 doesn't just stop swelling. It activates what scientists call actin up regulation. Basically, it gets your body's repair cells moving and opens the floodgates for healing. Think of it like clearing debris from a damaged road and calling in the repair trucks. Then BPC-157 shows up. Now it's not fighting through inflammation or blocked pathways, it's working on tissue that's ready to heal. Blood vessels grow faster, collagen production kicks up, and damaged fibers rebuild stronger than before. The science backs this up. Studies on tissue regeneration show that when TB500 primes the system first, other healing agents, like BPC-157, perform far better. It's not additive, it's synergistic. The sum is way greater than the parts. So when should you use this sequence? For serious injuries, nagging problems that won't go away or if you just want to recover faster from training. The right order outperforms either compound alone, by a long shot. Here's the plan that actually works. Phase one, prime the body. Weeks one to two. Start with TB500. Take two to five milligrams twice a week. This clears the path and turns on your body's healing mode. Phase two, target the damage. Weeks three to six. Add BPC-157 at 250 to 500 micrograms daily, while continuing TB-500 once a week. Now you're driving precision healing right where it's needed. Phase 3. Lock it in. Week 7 to 10 plus. Drop TB-500 and run BPC-157 alone for 4 more weeks. This seals the repair and strengthens the rebuilt tissue so it actually stays healed. Total time, about 10 to 12 weeks. Most people notice big changes by week 6. Remember. This is for learning and research purposes only. These are research peptides. Always do your own homework and talk to a professional before even thinking about it. If you want to experiment responsibly, I personally use Swiss Chems for both. They test everything, post lab reports, and are one of the few companies I trust. The link's below.
and it supports the channel when you use it. Hit that subscribe button if you want more deep dives into stuff that actually works, not just what looks cool on TikTok. Next week, we're talking about why most people use semaglutide wrong for healing, and the secret timing protocol pro athletes are quietly using behind the scenes. If you've tried the Wolverine stack or want to test it, drop a comment below. Let's share what's really working, and cut through the nonsense together.